Um, hello, everyone. I'm Ming Tong. Um, today, I will present our paper for sharply fast and approximately sharply based model pruning towards certifiably robust DNNs. Um, nowadays, deep neural network has been applied to a variety of real world applications, such as medical imaging analysis and language understanding. However, DNNs are shown to be vulnerable to adversarial perturbations, which are uh, still say to humans, but effective in uh, perturbing the prediction of models. Therefore, it's important for us to evaluate and understand the robustness of DNNs. In particular, certified robustness can uh, theoretically guarantee that the prediction of models will not change given perturbation constraints. As shown in this figure, the three curves are the decision boundaries and the gray region is the certified robustness region. And uh, with such approaches, we can guarantee that the adversarial examples will exist in this region and thus not cross a decision boundary. And existing work also show that there exists a trade-off between the robustness and the model size. Oversparsified DNNs are vulnerable to attack and overparameterization is necessary to achieve decent robustness. For instance, a larger model can have better robustness after adversarial training. And for randomized smoothing, a type of certified robustness, a uh, more than 10 times larger model can achieve more than 10% certified robustness. However, in realistic applications, Due to the resource limitation, we cannot deploy a too large model. So uh, mitigating the trade-off between the robustness and model size becomes important. Existing work try to mitigate the uh, trade-off considering from the perspective of optimization. They do not take direct, they do not directly take specific neuron properties into account. In our paper, we leverage sharply value a concept in game theory to evaluate the neural importance. The approach is shown to be effective and have better interpretability. As shown in the figure, our approach can mitigate the trade-off more effectively. So concretely, we make the following technique contributions. We propose a fast and approximated sharply method, fast sharply, to achieve high certified robustness on small models, which can be applied to both unstructured pruning and structured pruning. We theoretically analyze the design properties of fast sharply and its sample complexity. We show that a fast sharply has smaller sample complexity compared with direct sharply approximation. We also empirically demonstrate the effective this of our approach on three data sets with both unstructured pruning and structured pruning. So let's first look at the problem formulation of model pruning. The goal is to prune the least important weights of filters and maintain high certified robustness after the pruning. We introduce a binary mask MB to characterize the pruning. Each bit in MB corresponds to a neural a weight or a filter, they are all initialized to once, and we prune the neuron by setting its value to zero. Therefore, we can have this optimization problem where, where LCR represents a loss of the certified robustness. Theta is a model parameter, P is the pruning ratio, and N is the size of the neurons. The optimization problem searches for the pruning mask satisfying the pruning ratio constraints and also minimizes uh, robustness loss function. So before illustrating our approach, we first recap the definition of sharply value. This is a classic concept in cooperative game theory. It has four desired properties, linearity, symmetry, nullity, and efficiency. It has been successfully applied to different domains such as uh, data evaluation, data summarization, due to its power of importance evaluation of data samples. In this formula, SI of U is a sharply value of player I evaluated with a utility function U. N is the size of players, and S is a sampled subset. Here on the right-hand side, U of the union of S and I minus U of S is a marginal contribution induced by player I. And thus we can view sharply value as the expectation of the marginal contribution. 
we can further write down the Sharply value with a fixed sample size K. Uh, we can see that the difference is under the notation of summation, we have one more constraint that the size of sub subset S is uh, equal to K, which is a fixed constant, so that the original Sharply definition can be seen as the expectation of this new Sharply a definition with a fixed sample size. And based on this decomposition, we have one key observation that is in our setting, a relatively large sample size K plays a more effective role in the evaluation. There are two reasons. The first is that a large sample size K will introduce more fair and stable comparisons due to a larger intersection set of sample subset S. And the second reason is that the in the pruning problem, the utility of a small number of players is usually low and the marginal contribution based on it is less useful. So in light of observation, we propose to use a fixed sample size K and a relatively large sample size K in the evaluation and it's shown to be effective. And another obstacle of applying sharply value to the neural importance evaluation is the computational cost. We know that computing the exact sharply is MP complete for n neurons, so time complexity is O2 to, to the nth. And existing work use Monte Carlo sampling or design specific algorithm for specific utility functions. However, they, uh, they cannot scale up to uh, especially the unstructured pruning setting where there exist millions of players in the game. So our solution is to leverage the norm of the multiplication of weights and gradients to approximate the marginal contribution. In this formula, we use select the utility function as the minors of the robustness loss. And in the approximation, we apply Tyler expansion to the robustness loss. And we, after dropping the high order terms, we approximate it with the derivative and d theta i. And since in pruning, we prune the neuron by setting the value to zero. So d theta i is exactly equal to theta i minus zero and it's theta. So in this way, we can approximately um, uh, calculate the marginal contribution using the derivative and the weights. And the derivative can be calculated very efficiently with existing implementation framework. And therefore, with the sample size optimization and gradient-based approximation, we propose Fashapli algorithm for model pruning. Given a pre-trained model M, sample size K, data loader XY, and sample complexity M. In each iteration, we first randomly sample N minus K neurons in the model and prune them by setting the value to zero. Then we construct the computation graph by forwarding it and compute the robustness loss. And finally, we can compute the sharply for every neuron using the gradient-based approximation. And after computing the far sharply value, we only need to sort the value and prune PN values with the smallest value. Um, if, and uh, after pruning it, if necessary, we can fine tune the model to further improve the robustness. We also theoretically show that Fashapli also preserve the four desired properties. The first is the linearity. It indicates that the Fashapli function is linear with respect to the utility function. It means that the utility can be linearly decomposed to classification loss and the robustness loss. It, uh, so we can have the flexibility to design our own utility function and it has this interpretability. And the second property is the symmetry. It indicates that for any neuron i and j, if they have the same utility, then they must receive the same Fashapli value. And the third property is nullity. It says that if a neuron has no contribution, then the Fashapli value is zero. And the last property is efficiency. It indicates that the total utility can be distributed to all the neurons. And we also conduct a sample complexity analysis of our Fashapli. We start from the fact that the utility function value can be bounded with two linear function with respect to the size of S uh, and one constant upper bound U max. This aligns with uh, pre the assumptions in previous analysis. So based on it, we proved that with probability at least a delta and 
estimation error epsilon, the sample complexity for fascia is lower bounded by this uh, piecewise function. And uh, using uh, Hofstein's inequality, we can similarly derive the sample complexity of the direct Sharply without fixed sample size. And uh, comparing these two terms, we, we can know that our fast Sharply with uh, sample size optimization have a smaller sample complexity. Mm, and then from the result, we can have uh, uh, one more interesting finding that when the sample size k is small, the sample complexity positively correlates with the sample size. However, when the sample size is large, it becomes a negative correlation because of the limited information gain due to a larger overlap between samples. And finally, let's look at the experimental results. Hydra approximates a discrete optimization of pruning with continuous optimization and presents a state-of-the-art uh, robustness after pruning. And we compare Fashapli with it and show that Fashapli can outperform it by a large margin. Uh, it indicates that we can achieve the state-of-the-art certified robustness with both unstructured pruning and the structured pruning. And uh, next, we compare Fashapli with other neural importance evaluation criteria, such as least uh, weight magnitude, L2 norm, gradient-based pruning, tailor-based pruning, and neural stability. And we also show that Fashapli can outperform them. Mm, and uh, in addition, we compare with state-of-the-art model pruning algorithm Flying Bird, uh, which dynamically uh, prune and grow the network. And in the robust pruning setting, Fashapli also achieve better performance than it. And in the end, we uh, demonstrate the efficiency and effectiveness of Fashapli compared with sharply based methods, SV prune and sharp prune. As shown in this table for unstructured pruning, only Fashapli can scale up to this setting where they, there exist much more neurons than the structured pruning. And in the structure pruning case, Fashapli also achieves uh, the best, uh, more effective and efficiency than other baselines by comparison. Mm, uh, thanks for listening. That's my presentation.